because this deep freeze, it does get right into your bones. Here's how some Canadians are dealing with these frigid temperatures. Uh, what do you expect? Winnipeg is a winter pig. I didn't realize how cold it was until it's, it's cold, man. Just want to lay in bed, cuddle up, and stay warm. And you can face the sun from time to time. You can imagine you're actually in a hot place. <laughs> <laughs> For more on what could be behind this deep freeze, how about that? That's a good conversation, right? We've brought in CBC senior science reporter Nicole Mortellaro. This polar vortex, everybody says, you know, two words that you should be very afraid of, but it doesn't seem like Cameron McIntosh is afraid of anything. Um, what is behind it? So the polar vortex has been around, well, forever, and it exists all the time, but it's usually nice and cozy up in the Arctic. But what happens is every so often, um, it, it it makes its way south, southward, and um, and it brings along that cold air, um, and that's what we're experiencing right now. Okay, it's a trend, though, uh, or do you see that for future winters? I mean, where does it fit into the big picture of what's happening to our planet? So it's climate change, and uh, you know, it's people tend to forget, you know, everybody thinks climate change, global warming, well, where's the warming? Well, this is the part of it because what happens is in the Arctic, the Arctic is warming faster, two to three times faster than anywhere else on the planet. Mm -hmm. And the Arctic regulates our planet. So all that ice reflects that solar radiation into space, keeps our planet nice and cool. But what's happening with climate change is that it's, it's changing the, the whole region. And We've got a shot of a jet stream yes. up on the screen. Explain so, that one. So that's exactly. So what happens is the jet stream normally moves in a nice smooth rate. Mm -hmm. But because of that warming up in the Arctic, it's causing these kinks. So as you, you know, you can see the, the troughs there. And yep. that's what's bringing down that cold air. And that is caused by climate change. What do you say to Australia then? Because it's dealing with record-breaking summer temperatures, right? It's got to be connected. Well, here's the thing, right? You have to remember weather and climate are two different things. So weather is the state of the atmosphere when it comes to like moisture temperature etc in a place at a particular time climate mm. is a long period of time and so our planet is still warming and australia is dealing with that you know you're seeing minus 50 in chicago and some parts of canada and you're seeing 50 degrees in australia where they're you know baking but that's because that's part of climate change as well Warmer places are expected to get warmer. Cooler places um, might get a little cooler. But Australia is also facing climate change, the effects of climate change. A lot of people using the word snap, cold snap, snap. heat yes. snap. Is snap a, the right word, you know, weather-wise? Well, yeah. I mean, we are here. It's a, it's a snap. But here's the thing. With that climate change and that those kinks mm -hmm. in that polar, uh, sorry, in that jet stream, you're going to have these snaps are going to be longer. So that's what we're uh, forecast for the changing climate in Canada. All right, we'll have to come up with another word because we keep <laughs> saying cold snap too. All right, thank you very much, Nicole. Thanks. Nicole Martellaro, CBC senior science reporter.